In today's video, we are going to see how to modify the value of an object on UFT. So why do we need to change the value of an object? The purpose of changing the value of an object is to test the object with different values. Say for example, the object user ID is recorded with the value as test and suppose we need it we need to test it with different values like test 1 test 2 we obviously need to modify the object value and one advantage in UFT is that you don't need to record the whole script again all that you need to do is just modify the value of the object and rerun the test it's pretty simple compared to manual testing where you would have to change the value and retest uh, the application again it's not the case with UFT. Let's see how to do it. The following are the steps to modify the value of an object in a test script. Let's first open a test script that's been pre-recorded. Suppose you do not have a pre-recorded saved test script. Uh, you may want to watch our video on how to record a test script first. Suppose you have one recorded and saved, let's just open the pre-recorded test script. For that, we need to launch the UFT tool first. Let's launch HP UFT. Just hit continue when it gives a license warning and hit OK. So once the script is open, we need to go open the script first, file, open, open the test. And yeah, open the test. And once this is done, let's go to keyword view. And select the object for which the value needs to be changed. And once you, you have selected, go to the value and on the corner the, there are little brackets. Just hit on the bracket. It says value configuration options in this box and uh, there is something called constant. Go and change the value to whatever you want to. Now it's test, let's say test 1 and hit OK. And now Let's run the script. UFT will start running the script with the modified value of the object. Go to view, last run results to see what the result was of the test. As you see, everything turned green. In our application, we could just give any value uh, for uh, user ID and it's showing as it passed. And if you want to see the details on the left hand side, click the arrows. And if you uh, click on the agent name, which was our user ID, it says uh, that we gave uh, the value as test1. Now let's go and save uh, the script with the modified object value. And once you save the test, just uh, run the test and check whether the script is working or not. Open run result, view, view the result and just save the script. So many of our students have given testimonials on how our training programs are. You will find them on kudzu.com and on our website h2kinfosys.com. On our website h2kinfosys.com, you will also find more detailed information on who we are, the courses that we offer, what each course covers. Also, if you're interested in a demo program, please register on our homepage on the left hand side. Just give us more information about yourself and we will send you a link for a demo class. The demo class is absolutely free. 
experience our commitment by just attending an orientation workshop at no cost. Our team of faculty and advisors are here to guide you with the right information. If you still have more questions, please feel free to call us. Call us at 770-777-1269. This is a United States number. If you're calling from the UK, call us at 020-337-17615. You can also email us at training at h2kinfosys.com or h2kinfosys at gmail.com Thank you for watching our videos. We wish you a great career in information technology.